TNT Sports First, presented by Budweiser. Hey, happy Monday. Another week is here. Another PNC Sports First is here. I'm Blake Watson. A stroll down Major League Alley is needed, and we'll do just that. First up, though, Pacific Games Week here on PNC Sports First. Over the weekend, we attended a training session with boxer Gia Sarasol. Gia, who is a Guam native, she's also a former GW Gecko. She hasn't always fought. Actually, it all started when she wanted to play basketball and couldn't find an open court. Instead, what she found was the court overrun by boys with the lights out. They were all boxing. They asked Gia if she wanted to try it out, and the rest is history. Gia never backing down from a challenge. She started fighting back in 2009. She competed in one of her biggest bouts, a three-round battle with Nesti Petico of the Philippines. Petico is now ranked number two in the world in the Amateur International Boxing Association. She beat Gia I by think it's decision. A good uh, you know, you, you barely find any fights for women because, you know, it's a male-dominant sport. So, you know, once we found out that they're going to put women's boxing in Pacific Games, we talked to G, uh, GNOC and we just set, set everything up and, um, and I was able to fight. Yeah. Um, and does that add any pressure, you know, being the first one? I mean, does that add any kind of pressure to you a lot of yeah, yeah, a lot of pressure on me. But, you know, I've been doing it since 2008. So yeah. it's like, you know, I would expect the pressure. Mm -hmm. And no matter what happens, you know, I'm still going to do it anyways. So. Yeah. Do you still get nervous when yes. you fight? Yeah, you still Always. do? What does it mean to, to go and, and represent Guam? You know, to go and fight for Guam, to go and, you know, have the Guam seal on your trunks, you know, and be representing Guam uh, in the Pacific Games? Like I said, a lot of pressure yeah. that, that's on me, but, you know, it just helps me to push more and it motivates me to, to really represent the island because, like I said, everybody knows that I'm, like, really the only uh, female boxer mm -hmm. on Guam. So, you know, it's like, for this opportunity, it's like, I'm going to take it. Yeah. Yeah. And does that make you excited? I mean, I know it's, it's, it does add a lot of pressure, but I can see yeah. a smile on your face. Like, I am. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm honored. I'm, I've been waiting for this. Thank you so much to Gia for the time. As she said, this will be the first year the Pacific Games will have an all-women's boxing competition. Fights at the Pacific Games in Port Moresby are scheduled for four two-minute rounds. Gia will be fighting at 132. She will also have to make weight before the competition and prior to each fight. What didn't make the interview, actually, sitting down with her, uh, she said that that's the hardest part, making the weight. But she takes it seriously. And uh, once again, we wish the very best of luck to Gia as she takes on the women's boxing event in the Pacific Games for the first time ever. Do us proud, girl. We're all pulling for you. Moving right along. Great hanging out with Gia, by the way. Thanks again. And again, congrats to her for being the first women boxer. Now we move along to the West Coast. Major League Alley, American League West rivals, the Angels and the Mariners, both looking to climb the divisional standings. To Anaheim, we travel in sunny Southern California. Strength against strength. Felix Fernandez against reigning AL MVP Mike Trout. Sits him down there. Next bat for Trout, and no. He was 0 for 3, two strikeouts against Keaton Felix, who had six innings and eight Ks. It wouldn't matter in the end to the Halos. Houston Street for the save, but just like in La Bamba, the movie, no dice, Chino. Kyle Seeger gets a piece of it, sends it out his 12th of the year, ties it at two to extra innings. We go, the wild pitch is through Mike Zanino's legs. Come on down, Cole Calhoun. He scores the winning run, and we have a wild walk-off wild pitch. Angels win 3-2, to two, their sixth walk-off of the year. That's tied for the most in the American League. And speaking of walking off, it's about that time of the program. Time to end things. Parting is such sweet sorrow, I know. Tomorrow, though, our Pacific Games Week continues here on the program. We will hang out with the Guam Weightlifting Federation. Be sure to tune in for that. Until then, my name is Blake Watson, and I'll see you at the game. PNC Sports First, presented by Budweiser.